Once you've learned what a triangle means, your world expands. Okay, hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Tonight is the eve of a pinnacle, life-changing, important event. Tomorrow I am going for my L's test, my driver's knowledge test. And uh, for those of you asking, yes, I am 25. And it is rude of you to ask a woman's age. But no, I am currently 25 years old, and no, I do not have my license. No, I have never been behind the wheel of a car. And what about it, okay? Everyone learns in their own time. Everyone's pace is their own pace. I need to turn this heater off because I'm gonna swelter and slide off the bed because I'll be so clammy. Shout out. Okay, so it is the night before my test. It is tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. at Burwood Service New South Wales. And I, in fact, do want to pass. I don't want to go and fail. Have I studied before now, quite literally the night before? Of course, yes, yes. When I was Googling to see how far in advance I should book this test, it said, leave six months. You want at least six months to study the handbook. And I said, excuse me, what? Um, I'm back in Australia for a red hot two and a bit months. I don't have six months to work with. I gave myself under a week. And when did I start studying? Monday. For a frame of reference, tomorrow is Wednesday. So this is night two of study, but I'm fairly confident it's gonna be okay. I actually have not yet opened the road user handbook. I'm not recommending people do this. I'm not saying like, here's a fail safe way to pass your ass, cause who knows I could fail tomorrow. But also like, for me personally, I'm one who likes to learn from my mistakes. So what I've been doing is taking the practice car DKT driver's knowledge test on the Service New South Wales website over and over and over and over again to see what I already know. What common knowledge I've garnered over my 25 years of thorough, thorough life. So, <laughs> starting with me the night before my test, Tiki. Whew. You ready, babe? Let's begin. When you see these lights flashing in the back of a bus, what should you do? Stop and wait for the lights to stop flashing. Drive carefully at no more than 40 kilometers per hour. Overtake the bus while the lights are flashing. I see a 40 on the sign, I'm gonna go with a 40. 40, 40. Woo! Yes. If there are no lanes marked on the road, you should drive. Full stop. You should drive. Near to the left-hand side of the road, anywhere on your side of the road, along the middle of the road. Near to the left-hand side of the road, this is Australian baby girl. You should be particularly careful at this intersection because, okay, I've done this one before. Originally, I said intersections cause crashes because I feel they do, but the answer is the building blocks a good view of the side street. It also does look a bit tricky. You hold an unrestricted license and are driving at 100 kilometers per hour in the country and pass this sign. What should you do? Five kilometers and more. Buffy? Not a peep. Slow down to a speed that will allow you to stop to avoid crashing into farm animals on the road. I'm gonna go with that one. Correct. The bridge has only just enough room for two vehicles. As you come close to it, you should slow down and pay extra attention. Yes. Damn it, I hate a diagram. Looking at the diagrams, how far away from the approach side of a bus stop or a railway crossing are you allowed to stand or park your vehicle? To stand your vehicle? Allowed to stand or park your vehicle. At least 20 meters I'm going with. Right? So sorry, baby. So sorry. Um, that was a guess. I was about to try and come up with an answer to justify why I need that answer. It was a guess. You want to park your vehicle for a short time. It's night time. You should pick a visible position or leave the parking or hazard lights on. Okay, I've got this one in a previous test. I fully thought it was leave your headlights on high beam. Like, I thought I was able to high beam whenever I want. But apparently you're allowed to just leave your hazard lights on when you want to park for a short time at night. Imagine leaving your car on the side of the road for five minutes because you need to take a piss at your friend's house. Leave your hazard lights on someone walks past they think you're in a crash they think it's an emergency they call the police insane road rule unless it's completely normal and I just know nothing and anyone who's been driving for a long time is laughing at me right now in which case subscribe at least oh my god okay when did service New South Wales start getting gifts who pays for the gift budget if your vehicle is involved in an accident, regardless of the damage, what details must you give to the other drivers if asked? That's a very complicated gift for a very easy question. Just like give them all the details, correct? Another little hack, um, I often just go for the longest answer. If it's long and convoluted, it's probably right because why else would it be in the multiple choice? No one's going to go to that much effort of writing a long ass answer if it's incorrect. Okay, and we're just using the same gift for the next question. If a vehicle you're driving is involved in an accident and a person is injured, what must you do after stopping? Render every assistance and take immediate steps to have an ambulance notified, then call the police. Yes. Okay, this is a- I've never seen this run before, quite truly in my life, which tracks because I haven't read the handbook. 
Before I even read the question, let's just analyze the sign here. Let's take a look at the evidence we've got before us. A bus of five, a little swervy with an arrow, give way. Cars have to give way to buses on roads that curve, is what I'm guessing. You are driving in a 60 km per hour zone with only one lane for traffic in your direction. One lane. You see a bus ahead with this sign displayed on the rear, signaling its intention to pull out from a bus stop. You should give way. You are approaching a green light in vehicle A. An ambulance sounding its siren is approaching the same intersection and has a red light. You should slow down and stop if necessary to prevent getting in its way. Yes. At night when you approach an oncoming vehicle, you should carefully watch the vehicle by looking directly at its headlights. No, not look at its headlights, but keep left and watch the left of the road. The traffic on the other side of the intersection has stopped. You were in the car, shown and one across the intersection. The lights are green, what should you do? Wait until there is enough room for your vehicle to cross the intersection completely feels like the right answer. <sighs> yeah. You wish to go straight ahead. Oh, damn it, I hate a roundabout. You wish to go straight ahead on this roundabout with two lanes. Which lane may you use? I'm gonna go with the left lane only. Pure guess. Either lane? What are the rules of a roundabout? Maybe I'd know if I read the handbook. The faster the vehicle in front of you is traveling, the more distance and time you need to overtake. Yeah, because driving fast is bad. That's everything I've learned from the government. Car, bike. That's all I'm getting from the image. Let's read the question. How should you overtake a pedal cyclist? The same as you would another car with safety. I know we have to treat bikes like they're cars, even though they're not. That's the law. These markings on the road indicate pedestrian, pedestrian, places where pedestrians have special rights. Which sign painted on the road tells you there is a pedestrian crossing ahead? The most effective device for protecting passengers when in an accident is safety door latches, seat belts, padded instrument panels. That's giving padded cell. The adult passenger in the rear is breaking the law because she is old. Not wearing the available seat belt. Okay. You want to fit a baby restraint to your car. What should you secure the restraint to? An anchorage point designed for a baby restraint. I'm so sorry, I'm so good. You are driving in busy traffic in an 80 km per hour zone. It begins to rain lightly. What should you do? Slow down to a speed that suits the conditions better. Wet weather hack? Anything about when it rains? Look for the answer with the word conditions in it because it's always to do with the conditions. You meet the conditions where they're at. Correct. It is 9.20 a.m. on a school day. You're driving at 60 kilometers per hour. Bad. Same speed as traffic around you. You pass this sign, but the other cars did not slow down much. What should you do? Not to come to peer pressure. Be your own person. Slow down immediately to 40 kilometers or less, even though the drivers want to go faster. Driving faster than the maximum speed is permitted only when passing another vehicle. No. Only permitted when blah blah blah. No. Never legally permitted. Bad. Are you permitted to make a U-turn at traffic lights? No. Having one or two alcoholic drinks before driving will affect your reactions and judgment. Sure. On Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights, how many serious crashes involve alcohol? 100%. Get off the bottle, babe. Again, don't know. Do not know. But I'm gonna go with the highest percentage because I feel like they're trying to scare kids straight. Don't be gay, don't drink alcohol. What does this sign mean? <laughs> Keep left unless overtaking. What does this sign mean? I'm sorry. If you get this question wrong, that means you can't read. And if you can't read, maybe don't drive. Keep left, this sign means you should. Drive carefully, roundabout ahead. What does this sign mean? Transit lane, T3, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. T3, this is like the carpool lane for three people. Vehicles carrying three people or more and motorcycles may use this lane. Yes, two roads, one road. Kind of looks like a penis. That's not relevant right now. You should expect the sign when a divided road ends and two-way traffic is ahead, yes. Kangaroo, next 30 kilometers. What does this sign mean? <laughs> Zoo, 30 kilometers ahead. That would be incredible if they gave you warning. Drive carefully and watch out for kangaroos entering. Yeah. A very regionally specific exam. Give way. Give way ahead. A give way sign in an intersection is ahead, slow down and prepare to stop. Yes, narrow bridge. You are most likely to find this sign on the approach to a bridge which has room for only two vehicles. Slow down and proceed with caution. I'm gonna go with that one. Oh, we've done the test. We finished the test. Come on. Yes. All right, and that's all I have for you. I've done all the studying I can. I've annoyed the dog. I'm sweltering in this hoodie, and I want to take this crusty makeup off and go to sleep so that I can hopefully take on the day and win. I can win driving. Let's manifest a pass. I'm 25, I can do this. Um, but thank you so much for studying with me. If you thoroughly enjoyed this video, then please thumbs up and subscribe. And if you learn absolutely nothing from it, well then just do it anyway. I need all the help I can get. I need to pay for these driving lessons. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.
stay safe out there.